Guys, um, it's Addie, and sorry that half the frame is off, but if you notice like anything different about the camera quality or the angle, I'm using my mom's phone to film because today I'm using my phone for this video, which is going to be showing you guys how to do this on your phone with the new iOS 14 update for Apple. If you spend the winter all alone, yeah Cause I don't please fall I don't please fall This is me editing. Quick disclaimer, I'm very sorry about how this video is kind of slightly choppy and a little all over the place, but I've been working on this for a while. It's a school night. I have homework. I'm really sorry. I'm going to try to really focus on the quality of my videos and not keep pushing them off till the last second, but hopefully you guys will still enjoy this video and thank you for watching it. Today I'm going to be doing mine aesthetically pleasing for the fall time because I love fall as you can probably tell by my room and if you guys haven't watched my fall room redo slash tour, definitely go check that out. It's a really cool video. I show you guys my whole room and I made it look really nice and cute for the fall so that will be linked in the description down below for sure so go check that out. Okay, so I'm going to put a screen recording of what my phone looks like right now onto the screen so that you guys can see it a little bit better. I'll actually just do a screenshot. The first thing that you want to do is get the app, Pinterest, if you don't have that already. So you just need to go to your Pinterest app, open it up, and then I searched for fall phone backgrounds, and then I saved them to a board that I made called phone, fall phone backgrounds because like I've been saying a lot you can use this for the background of your screen or you can also use them for the app covers like I will be showing you how to do once you have the ones that you want you're gonna need to save them I usually just screenshot them so what I do is to get those little icons out of the corner I'm just gonna have to kind of show this but I go like that I like drag down on it and then you can just crop it to whatever size you need it and usually it's going to be square for the app ones but just in case you want it to be your background also or you still haven't decided. So I just got done going through and screenshotting a couple pictures. I don't have it that many yet but I'm going to need to get more and you're just going to need however many apps you have on your phone. That's how many screenshots you're going to need if you want to make all the covers aesthetic looking. But now I'm gonna move on to the apps that you need to get for this. You need two apps. One is called Widget Smith. So I'll just type that in and show you guys. It's gonna show up that I already have it because I already downloaded it. But all you do is you download the app Widget Smith. It's completely free. Everything I'm using in this video is free. Now I'm gonna go quickly get the app shortcuts. You wanna make sure you get the right one. So just do the one that I show you guys. If you don't already have your phone updated to iOS 14, then you need to make sure that you do that because... Oh shoot, Maddie's on her way. But make sure that your phone is updated. I'm on iOS 14, so it just shows up like that. A new setup. I completely forgot to show you guys how to use Shortcuts app, but anyways, to get right into it, sorry guys, I'm really, really rushed. It's already 7.30 and I'm not done editing this video. But the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up the Shortcuts app and then in the top right hand corner, it should have a plus button. Then it'll bring you to this like screen. And then you're gonna type into the search bar, open app, select the little bar that says open app, cause that's the command that you wanna use. And then after you do that, it should say open and then choose. That's where you choose what app you want. So click on the choose. You can pick which app you want. I chose Amazon just to show you guys because it was right at the top of my list. Otherwise you can search or you can just go in alphabetical order. After you pick which app you want, you just press that and then in the top right above it, I don't know if it shows up on the screen, but there's three dots in a circle. You're gonna click on that and that is where you can choose what you want it to look like on your screen so it's not going to be the first bar that has like short your name it's going to be the one under it tap on the little icon and then you can choose a photo from your camera roll or you can choose to take a photo i chose one from my camera roll and then after you do that just next to it you're going to press done or whatever the heck with your photo and then you type in the words 
Then in the top right, you can press, I believe it says add a screen or done or something like that. And then you're done. As you guys can probably tell by the camera change, I'm on my phone once again because I'm just gonna have to do the screen recording separately right now because I'm just doing a quick clip. But as you guys can see, I finished doing everything with all my apps. It took forever if you guys are gonna do this and you have a lot of apps. It'll probably take you between an hour and two hours to just do all the apps and like all the screenshots and everything. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of the old apps and do not delete them. With the new iOS update, you can tap on them and if you press remove app or like delete app, whatever it says there, I'll show it on the screen though. It just says you can move to your app library, which I'll show you guys what the app library looks like also after this but then you just press move to app library and then it's off your screen but you still have the app so make sure that you guys do that because if you delete the whole app the shortcut will not work anymore and yeah so now i'm just gonna go through and do that with all my apps and i'll show you guys the next step which will be with the widgets hey guys it's the next day and i just woke up so i look like crap right now but I really need to get this video finished, so I don't remember if I told you guys how to do the widgets, but for the calendar one that I did and the clock one that I did, they ended up looking super, super cute. So you guys should definitely download the app Widget Smith, which I told you more towards the beginning of this video, and then also Photo Widget, which I forgot to mention. I was learning a lot along the way through this video, so you might see if it just like randomly cuts from one place to another place on the screen that's because i was like learning things in between and i didn't have it exactly perfect but back to the widgets you can go to your widget app first like don't add any widgets in wait till you have your widgets ready in widget smith sorry i keep saying widget and they already have some made for you so you just have to click on those and then you can change it if you want the small widget to be like for the date or the time for whatever and then once you select what you want it to show up as i chose the date for my medium size one and i chose the time for my smaller one first you click on the widget and then it should bring it up in the bigger screen click on it again then there's like little tabs towards the bottom and it has like font color background color i think it's actually called tint you get the point, I'll show you guys on the screen what it looks like. And then all you have to do is select which ones that you want. Um, for the fall theme, the orange that I did ends up looking really nice, like the more burnt orange. Or the other orange could look good depending on what colors you used for your apps. The white one and the light gray one would also look really cute with like anything. Just have more of a simple theme, there's also a really cute light pink if you're doing light pink theme. with. After you have your widget all set and ready to go, you're gonna go to the home screen, tap and press any random spot. Then in the top left corner, there should be a little plus button and that is where you can add your widgets. If you just want normal ones, you can just scroll through the normal ones that they have. So they have like photo widgets, they have the weather. If you want your widget smith to show up, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom and click widget smith. And then you select small, medium or large whichever one that you had made. So if you made medium one, like I did for my calendar, then you would press medium just like I did, and then your calendar should show up onto your screen. And then it's the same for the smaller ones and so on. I'll show you guys how I did my clock one anyways, even though it's just the same procedure. For that, you're just gonna go select, I selected the small one because I want it to be small, I did a clock i ended up changing it actually to like an actual clock because i thought it just looked cute but i'm gonna show you guys what the finished product looks like at the end because i did move a couple things not really though and then i also forgot to mention i changed the font i did the new york font even though you guys would have already seen it now that we're done with widget smith i'm gonna move on to the photo widgets so first thing you need to do is you need to download the app photo widget and then once you go into the app it'll have the instructions if you want to read those that's great or you can just watch this video and i'll basically explain through them so once you're off of the instructions page then it brings you to a screen that should be over here it just has 
a plus in the middle and then it has a number of pictures that you can use. So you just hit that plus and then you can add pictures to it. And then those are all the pictures that will come up. And I'll show you more on the screen. I forgot what it's called, but you guys can look at it. You go... Part was a little confusing, but if you go to the top right corner, there should be a little settings icon and you click on that and it'll take you to that screen that I showed before. You can figure out how long you want each picture to be on your screen. I wanted mine to change more quickly, so I did the quickest, which was five minutes. That is what I chose. And then once you have all your pictures ready and the time intervals that they're gonna be up, you move over out of the app and then tap and hold on the screen like we did before for Widget Smith. Then you press the plus, you scroll down to where it has the apps listed that you can show on the screen and click photo widget. And then it'll show up with the pictures that you have and then it'll go through the picture you had first. If you guys want a second photo widget, you can also do that. You can also select the size that you want. It doesn't matter. It's going to show the same pictures for everything. So whatever size you want to fill up your screen, doesn't matter. Then if you want to add another one somewhere else on your screen, do the same process. And then if you want a different size, this photo widget, instead of having the first picture that is in your widget app first, it's going to have the second one shown first so that they're not on the same ones at the same time. I think that's all on how I did my screen. Shortcuts took me a while. It, they're going to take up most of your time finding the pictures from Pinterest and then screenshotting them and then putting them in with text. It's just, it took me a while, but I really wanted to do this video for you guys. And as you might be able to tell by my room, I love the fall. That's kind of cool that I can make it fall. Now I think I'm ready to show you guys my final screen. And here goes the grand reveal. Drum roll, please. I don't know if I have a drum roll sound effect. Ba -da -bom. Doo. I'm gonna open it up for you guys, but my really cute wallpapers. I just chose the home screen to be a plain tan color so that all the pictures would really go nice with it. And then I just chose some Halloween photos and quote and a picture of me and my friends for the photo widget. I'm probably gonna add a couple more of me and my friends and then a couple more just quotes. That's the final thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It took me a while. Hopefully this was a quick easy way for you guys to figure out how to do it. And even if you already know, Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Comment down below this emoji if you stayed all the way till the end. I hope you guys are enjoying fall coming. It's not even here yet. Stay tuned for some more fall videos. Maybe I'll do like fall outfit info. Bye guys. I will see you Sunday. Peace out. If you spend the winter alone, yeah Cause I don't bleed fall I don't bleed